Well, it, it's it's about the how you can actually use that data. Yeah, well, that's true. It's, it's the future of that. Like, <laughs> they, they, they're yeah. going on projections saying that, you know, this data projection of you know sharing is just going to go up. It's yeah. an exponential curve at the moment. Yeah. It doesn't look like it's going to stop. Huh. I mean, there is that chance that, you know, everyone's like, oh my God, I hate Facebook. It's so full of mainstream people and all the yeah. uncool parents and everyone that are going to move. But I don't think... I don't think I think Facebook is definitely going to be the platform for social networking. It's yeah. like Google is the platform for search, even though there are far better yeah. um, search engines out there. It was exactly what people said about Google when their IPO happened. That oh, Google's just a fad. People can easily go to another website. I mean, yeah. look at Yahoo, that failed. I mean, look at uh, Hot Pot, at uh, Hot Spot. I forget what it was, and Lycos, and all of the other big ones. Yeah, and then they all didn't work. And I'm like, yeah, Google, people care. Yeah, they're they're already into the lexicon. They're in the memes. They're they're. Yeah. There are virus in people's heads. Yeah, that's it. Facebook is social network. Facebook is how you share, yeah. Yeah, social network. But there will there will probably be something that will come along that will make... Well, they won't do social networking exactly, but it will do something, something different but similar. Well, it's like, it's like <laughs> Google and yeah, Facebook. people will go to. That, I mean, Google was a big, like, you know, darling of the web industry, and now they're the established behemoth. Like, yeah. It's like, oh, okay. Now, Facebook's a crazy new thing, but now they're getting to that point. Mm. The, the thing that that does actually make me actually... Uh, like Facebook and think that it does have a chance of doing that. I mean, they're earning $2 billion a year in revenue going there. Then I mean, yeah. even if it is like, you know, 25 to one, like, you know, price equity ratio, I mean, that's still pretty good. A company earning $2 billion a year and it's just starting. Yeah. Holy shit balls. That's awesome. It's going to keep, it's like, I mean, it's like Google now. Google's still growing exponentially. It's just not as fast as everything else. Is well, they're, they're taping off. It's not exponential anymore. Is it? I don't think so. Like, exponential is really like, big. number of searches. I don't think that's it. Surely numbers of searches are going up exponentially. Well, exponentially is really low, really fast. Because, I mean, think about the billions of searches that are happening. That If that goes exponentially, then we're talking more searches than people on the planet. It's, it's still okay, growing. Up, up a trend, yeah. Yeah. Because that's, yeah. what, that's what Google would measure their success in, like, number of searches. Yes. Facebook would measure their success in number of content shared, number of things yeah. shared. Yeah, number of things shared. More stuff and contributed. So it'll be interesting, but but yeah, the Goldman Sachs thing. Apparently, they're they're using that to leverage. They're gonna um, get another one point five billion dollars from other investors mm -hmm. and try and invest it. So a lot of people are saying that Goldman Sachs is probably just gonna screw over Facebook. Yeah, I was thinking that That'd too. That it's, it's a nice, easy way to go around it. And if you saw the Daily Show today, uh, <laughs> they were saying that a uh, <laughs> They were saying that, uh, yeah, that they're getting around, like, you know, some of the laws and stuff, how they don't have to be totally open by yeah. having Goldman Sachs with just the one investor and everyone invests with Goldman Sachs, they get around stuff and lots yeah. of the little weird things, but, uh, I don't know, they're, yeah. they're just, you know, petty things. People are, you know, haters going to hate that stuff. Well, there was an interesting point on Reddit, I think, in Reddit comments saying that they're at the stage now where um, Facebook is so mainstream that it has to be a corporate interest. Yeah. It has to make money. Yes. And because of that, it mis it's misaligned with users' interests. Oh, God, yeah. Because, <laughs> oh, God, because yeah. Facebook wants to make money off, off people, and people just... They don't want Facebook to make money off the data. They just want to use it because it's a cool service. They just want to share, yeah. Yeah, they just want to do that. But, you know, there's going to be a clash there. But they'll still maintain the mainstream no matter what happens. Even if Facebook loses its appeal and something better comes along. Yeah. You only have, like, the, 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 the people on the fringe, the edge, the techs, the geeks, they'll actually yeah. move on to the next thing make that big as well, but Facebook will still be like, you know, yeah. your big guy sitting in the background. They'll, always, they'll, they'll be there for a very long time. I, I mean, even like MySpace and all that, like even GeoCities, like GeoCities is not an example because they did go on a <laughs> <Hello. other> stage. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I, I think Facebook, it's yep. it's around 50 billion. I'm not sure if it's up to that much, but I, I, I don't know if I'd invest in it, but I don't think I can. Yeah. So you have to be private now. It's $2 million minimum to invest. So if any yeah. of you guys out there have $2 million, think you've invested in Facebook, might not be a bad idea. Yeah. But, no. Okay, enough of Facebook. Enough of Facebook. Um, we still got all of CES to go. I know. <laughs> um, well, I don't, I, okay, I've just really got one more and then another. Okay, well, thing. you go quick with your own, I'll be quick with my Okay, own, this know, is CES. from one behemoth to another. <laughs> we, we, surely there must be like little little cool hey. companies releasing stuff. That Steve Ballmer isn't that fat, like really. What? Behemoth. Talking about no Google. Oh Google. Oh Larry Page isn't fat at all. Okay. <laughs> it's it's not Larry weight. Page. Ah, oh, some dude Google, in a red shirt. Google never has fat people presenting. Ha! It's sad. Racists. Anyway, um, this is another presentation <laughs> of that Google presented at. IFA, what's that? Internet IFA, 
International Financial Association. That was in Berlin. I have no clue. That was in Berlin. Oh, okay. Oh, no, IFA. Um, anyway, Expand. they presented what they're calling conversation mode in Google Translate. Ooh. In other words, it is about one step away from the idea that uh, you just pick up your phone, talk, call up anyone, say, say call up you know, someone who speaks Japanese, and you just talk to them in English, they receive the voice in Japanese, they talk to you in Japanese, you receive the voice in English. Ah, brilliant. So, real-time translation. We, we can finally, finally now talk to anyone in the world on a common medium, on a common language. That's nice. We've got our Babel what fish. Common, common, yeah, common medium, not a common language, is it? Yeah, common medium. Well, because we've, we've got the written thing, but that's not fast enough. You've got to be able to speak. Yeah. So, th so this demo that I was just showing, it was really just like talking to the phone, it talks back in a different language, someone hears it, they talk to the phone, talks back in a different language. You can see here, uh, when you speak in English, it will translate it to Spanish for you, hola, and then it says responda en espanol. So this is sort of um, to be used in the country, and then you get the person you're speaking to to respond in Spanish. Um, so, um, hola, como esta? And it's come up with what I've said, um, and then you obviously correcto or incorrecto, and it, in this case it's correct. And it translates it to English, and then... Uh, fine, thank you. And if you got it wrong, so I said ah before I started speaking. Uh, appalling county. No, that's wrong. So we can go back to speech. Fine, thank you. Let's come up correct this time so we can click translate. Bien, gracias. Bien, gracias. But it, it's surely not too many steps before they can just talk into it, it recognises the language. Mm. And it translates it automatically. Yeah, yeah. It'd be like you do with uh, already with Google Translate when you type it in. Yeah. You put yeah. it in a language, it automatically recognizes what you're actually typing. You've got the speaker icon there as well, so you can hit speak and that speaks back to you. Oh, sweet. Which is kind of sweet. So, yeah, it's really, really close now. So, yeah. That That's puts an interesting easy. spin on, um, like, uh, uh, Geordie was saying, like, you know, what's the point in actually learning a language now yeah. if it can true. only do this? Well, that's true. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's always it. been a big thing. I mean, there is the idea that, you know, learning a language actually helps you think in a different way. But, I mean, the, yeah. the, the actual language itself enable, in being able to communicate with people in different languages, that's not really necessary anymore. Not really. It'd be like, you know, spelling isn't necessary anymore. No, my spelling, Calculations oh aren't my necessary god, anymore. my spelling has gone to the shit. Like, it's embarrassing. Like, I, I get embarrassed when people actually watch me type right now because I just assume Google or Facebook or whatever I'm typing will immediately get fixed. Right. Like, I could... This is really embarrassing, but I, I had I was uh, spelling pilot, and I was like, how do you spell pilot? I was like, oh, fuck it, I don't know. It's got <laughs> roughly these letters, and hit enter, and then Google fixed it. I was like, yay. Then there was a moment of realization going, oh, my God, I couldn't spell pilot. <laughs> really bad now. <laughs> For one day, Google should just not translate it. Yeah, it's like, shit. <laughs> We've all lost 20 IQ points. You just, see it, you just see what you write and it's just in gibberish, but it's like, that's the new standard for English now. Yeah, why not gibberish? Hey, pilot, pilot is now spelt that way because the majority of people spell it that way. Well, one fantastic thing I have seen from Facebook is actually the, the writing ability of many people is far below what I would have estimated. Like, people are stupid when they type on like Facebook. like numbers and... Yeah, you guys... speaking. Yeah. yeah. Or just purposefully spelling it wrong, but they have whole conversations in it, so they must understand what they're saying. <laughs> and sure, I can understand it as well, so I'm being a little bit elitist here, thinking that it must use punctuation and proper capitals, and even spelling I right. <laughs> Used an E. Okay. Yeah, e bra. Anyway. Connect, connect. Okay, connect. Well, actually, let's, let's go, go running out of time. Yeah, let, let's go on to CES. This connect is a part of CES. You've been blabbering for so long. You're blabbering. CES. CES. Okay, well. Yay, singularity. Woo. Happy time, connect. Yeah, well, this is the big thing. This is what leads into it. That uh, there was the keynote speaker by the micro Microsoft Windows <laughs> again. keynote speaker. No, no, Steve Ballmer. Uh, he did a big talk, and I just happened to be browsing uh, CES when it happened. And I was like, "Oh, look, it's live!" And so I went online. And I was like, "Oh, this will be awesome! I can actually start listening to it." It's yeah. boring as fuck, though. God damn, oh, he didn't just say sucked. Developers, developers. developers. <laughs> he didn't. Developers. He didn't say anything really. But what was really cool, just as I turned off, he just happened to do the most amazing thing and the really important thing of the whole speech, yeah. which is now there are avatars in Connect. So uh, you know, with the Connect, like you stand in front of it, you can do all your movements and all of that, and then yeah. you have got Wii avatars and stuff. You made a little model of you. So it mimics your movements. It mimics your movements. So we've got people playing here. Does it? And it mimic... does your facial expression as well. Look at him. See, look, he's talking. 
and it actually does it there. It's not well, to a perfect example. Yeah. Well, uh, that, that doesn't mimic your the creation of your avatar. The creation. Like, can you just have it take a picture and it instantly turns it into an avatar? Sorry. No, that would be really good. Because that's the thing I hate about the Wii, like having to actually go through and select... Oh, it's fun. From hundreds... Oh, I find it boring. <laughs> I'd, I'd love for it to just take a picture of me and be like, it this is what you roughly look like. Yeah. Like, oh, cool. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. And then you can make adjustments from well, that. Well, then the computer would be really mean and horrible and make us all look horrible with like, you know... Why evil. would it do that? Because it's telling us the truth. Why, why would... I have this lovely <laughs> self-image. <laughs> I'm Brad Pitt crossed with Tom Cruise. Only really better looking. <laughs> and taller. And so then now look at Steve Ballmer. Like, he's not fat in this. Ah, good point. He's yeah. got a fat head, though. He has got a fat head. He's very bald. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, that was the awesome thing by Kinect. That that's the, going to be the big new thing. That, uh, you know, the Kinect uh, focusing on that, actually doing their avatar stuff. So Microsoft yeah. is focusing, focusing like crazy on that. I won't talk about the rest of Microsoft's keynote. It was pretty boring. Okay. No tablets. But then some other Kinect stuff, what I wanted to talk about, is the amount of hacks that have happened. One of the hacks has been this guy here, who is freaking crazy. Oh, this is... This is awesome. So this it's is Dragon Ball Z seen. style. And it does fire out, like, yeah. you know, everywhere. Going there. Freaking awesome. Another, another awesome video. I uh, don't have it up, unfortunately. With um, one of a guy actually just talking to another person on a connect by walking through a virtual environment and talking. So that was cool. Oh, cool. Then another guy who was in a robot. No, no, controlling him. It was a picture of him, the no, camera no, no, no. version of him. I'm talking about another one. So. Oh, okay. What did you yeah, say? Another one. Uh, this guy had a little mini robot, and based on when he moved, the robot moved. Oh fuck yeah! yeah. Oh, that, that's similar to the the last one that I saw with Connect. Was a uh, this guy, a Japanese dude, of course, made an anime character, of course, a schoolgirl anime <laughs> character, of course, with a really short skirt that you can see the underwear, of course. But uh, any movements he made, the Japanese schoolgirl made as well, and that was pretty.